Sorry, I keep having to switch eyeliner pens because I have like three, but they're all at like, varying levels of done. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Is that hummus on my t-shirt? How do people usually start YouTube videos? Hi guys! Hi! I'm here! Anyway, we're gonna do our makeup and chat. Shoot. Important to everyone watching out there, this video has a... <laughs> this video has adult language. Did you do your skincare? Mm -hmm. Okay. I did too. But what is that on my skin? Is that hummus? Is that hummus? Is there hummus everywhere? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's probably... It's probably face cream. I have done my skincare, but... So... Have I? This. I want to try it. <laughs> I like face you mists. I like that. <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> oh my god, why would you do that? When we were in London recently, I we took a little trip to Selfridges, have a look at the RE and Beauty stuff, which Katie was very excited about, obviously. And I treated myself as well. I wasn't going to, but I did, because apparently this stuff is amazing. The Full Night Sleep Cooling Blurring Under Eye Balm. I've only used it a couple of times, but oh my god, it, this stuff's amazing, right? It comes in a cute little box. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of like a gel. You know that, was it the Matt Moose stuff? Was it Rimmel? Who, maybe, who did that? Everyone um, used when we were in, uh, you know, 2007. I love eye creams. I love eye creams. <laughs> I've tried many different kinds of eye creams, but so far, this is the best. I am gonna use the Maybelline you Dream do. Radiant Liquid. People still use this, but I do. I'm also gonna use that, except I think I've got one that's too light for my skin now, but we move. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do my foundation before my eyes. So do I. So <laughs> I don't know if that's controversial. I think everyone should just do their makeup however they want. Yeah, I agree. However they're comfortable. No, but you can, that's the point of makeup. Do what works for you. Also, disclaimer, we are just makeup fans, not makeup. Pros. Everything I've learned about makeup is from YouTube. Yeah, and TikTok. Yes, yeah, so we were in London recently. <laughs> it was like a magical little dream trip. We went to see Dun 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 Dun, dun, dun Hamilton. Do -do. How does a best off son of a whore go on and on drop the number? That was our first time seeing Hamilton. Yeah, first time ever. <gasps> well, obviously we'd seen it on Disney Plus like a million times. So you kind of felt like we. I felt like it. I had already yeah. seen it. Nothing was different, really? no, obviously, like, apart from the cast. It was no, just... actually, Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll just give up soon what I was going to say. Let's load on. Next is the concealer. concealer. I love concealer. I love concealer so much. Mm -hmm. Spray mm -hmm. mine. I literally just cover myself in concealer. I don't even care. Concealer. Concealer! That sounds like some word that some, like a villain would say before they like <laughs> go into a poof of smoke. Concealer! <laughs> <laughs> just disappear. So also in London we saw Back to the Future, the musical. Right. First of all, if you love the movie, you'll love the musical. Yeah. Second of all, if you've never seen the movie, if you you'll if you have still never love the musical, yeah. you'll still love it even if you haven't seen the movie. Which shame on you if you've not seen Back to the Future. Yeah. Seriously, where have you been living for thirty years if you've not seen Back to the Future? It's nearly forty years actually. Nearly four. It is my favorite. Like nothing for me comes close to Back to the Future. It's a perfect movie. You've got everything you need in it. You've got yeah. a good villain, you've got humor. good humour. Romance. Good, yeah. Good what? friendships. It's all about friendship. It's, it's not about the boy chasing the girl. Exactly. Marty is already with Jennifer when it's the movie not, starts. It's, it's not, not about his, him winning her over. Yeah, it's not his story. Like That's not what his that's character his arc. arc is. Which I love. I love that so much. Before we saw it, everyone was saying, oh yeah, they've made tiny changes to the plot. As soon as you see it, it'll make sense. Yeah. And I was going, yeah, 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 whatever. We were like, how, how can you change it? something that's already perfect? Yeah. But it makes sense. The other thing I loved was like the message behind it. It's just such a feel good, go and live your dreams yeah, uh -huh. kind of message and you can do whatever you set your mind yeah. to. If you put your mind if to you put it, your mind to it, you, you can, can achieve anything. You can accomplish anything. Is it achieve or accomplish? Accomplish. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. I want to know how the uh, how Doc and Marty met. 
Me too. I no, does to anyone I, know? Apart I from wanted to know the this bobs. Does anyone know this? Yeah, the bobs. Can you like let us know because we want to know? <laughs> yeah, because it's not like Rick and Morty where Rick is more literally like his grandfather. grandfather. Psych. Doc actually is Mars. I would imagine. No, that would be plot twist of the century. Plot twist of the time and space continuum. I'm so glad we got we to didn't. see the original cast mm-hmm. because they were just perfect. Uh, like Ollie Dobson. Perfect Marty. There, it couldn't have been anyone more perfect Mm-mm. to play Marty McFly no. on stage. I felt like I was watching Michael J. Fox. It was like watching the movie. Yeah, it was like watching it but being in it. In it. Part of it. Yeah. It was so cool. It's a different song. It's stuck in my head like every five minutes. Yeah. If you're wondering what I'm thinking about, if I go blank, that's it's, back to it's the that. Do you have any makeup in both today? Are you winging it? I'm winging it. I'm kind of just riffing on the makeup that I usually do. I'll either tone it up or tone it down, but it's usually always the same, Mm. which is kind of bronzy, glittery pink with either a wing or just kind of a bit of smoky eyeshadow. This is the first time I'm trying this. (gasps) Yeah! REM Beauty Midnight Eyeshadow in Fembot. Let's see what it looks like. I love to lose your finger. (gasps) Oh! (laughs) Oh my god. Like (gasps) iridescent. That's pretty. What's this? I feel like this is a type of eyeshadow where it'll look different colour and different light. Oh my god, and that just went all over my lid so perfectly. That's stunning. You know how you get some liquid eyeshadows that come off when you dab them in? Wow. Holy shit. It literally looks like holographic. And as usual when I do my makeup, I feel like that little girl that has glitter, the bang <laughs> glitter all over her eyes <laughs> and she's... Do you in the car. Make me laugh when I'm doing my eyebrows. <laughs> For my eyebrows, I use the Primark 3 in 1. What's it called? 3 in 1 Brow. It's the best eyebrow pencil powder gel I have ever come across. Plus, it's dark cheap, which is even better. <laughs> okay, I feel like I might do my eyeliner, I was gonna say. Eyeliner. <laughs> it strikes fear into my soul. Doing my eyeliner. That'll do. We actually talk a bit more about musicals in general, just uh-huh. as something to talk about. What am I doing? Oh, this is filthy. Filthy. I'm gonna do some autumn inspired stuff with this. This is one of my favourite makeup palettes. That, um, it's by Revolution, the chocolate orange one. Fall vibes. Speaking of Halloween, are we going to do Doc and Marty for Halloween this year? <laughs> I mean, I have. The outfit ready. Yeah, you she's um, in my She's my wardrobe. Ready. Elf. I love Elf. The movie and the makeup product. Yeah. By the way, I poured a coffee, a can of coffee into this. That's oh. all you get. Are you joking? No. Oh, that's ridiculous. No. Dreaded Fallout. The dreaded Fallout. This is why you should do your foundation and do your foundation. That was <laughs> preaching five minutes ago. <laughs> I know I regret that decision. <laughs> I just went through like, a whole list of Muppet characters. <laughs> I went from being the chef to Beaker and like point to Beaker. Say. Beaker is my favourite character from the Muppets. <laughs> that is your own fault. <laughs> right, it's time to do my eyeliner, and I'm a little bit scared. You know when you just feel like today's not an eyeliner day. Yeah. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because you know what? You can do anything if you put your mind to it. You can accomplish anything (laughs) if you put your mind to it. If you don't see me for five minutes, it's because I'm here. You'll come out from your eyeliner cave and I'll be a pumpkin. (laughs) (laughs) That's another thing I love about fall though, is going to pumpkin patches. We've done that once in our life. Uh, I've been to a couple of pumpkin patches. I've been around. I've been to the pumpkin patches. I'm a pumpkin patch connoisseur. I've only been once. And it was overpriced and my pumpkin died in like a day. I enjoyed toasted marshmallows though. Is it s'mores or s'mores? s'mores? S'mores. You know where I think I get that from? Toy Story 2. You know when Buzz is like making toasted hot s'mores and Woody's like, it's s'mores, Buzz. S'mores? I'm sure they call them s'mores. S'mores? S'mores! <laughs> I'm on a crisis over s'mores. S'mores! You'll be back soon. You'll be back soon. You remember I lied. You belong to me. You got here. Please stop. <laughs> you know what? I'll get it myself. I'll get it myself. Oh. <laughs> God, stop making my eyes water. God, I'm so funny. <laughs> 
This is the like defining moment of my eyeliner. Why did that remind me of the song of Princess Diaries too? Me crowning glory. Those songs in Princess Diaries. Oh well there is. <gasps> Oh. The universe um, heard you uh, disrespecting Princess Diaries 2 and went, you know what? She deserves to be in pain. I would never <laughs> disrespect Princess Diaries. Sorry, I keep having to switch eyeliner pens because I have like three, but they're all at like, varying levels of done. <laughs> <laughs> like me. <laughs> uh, I look like the Grinch there. You remind me of the Grinch. Thanks, I'll take that as a compliment. Hates Grinch people, <laughs> um, likes to be alone. And is fuzzy and green, yeah. <laughs> There's like three characters. I can't remember who the third one is now. But hate that Hazel really gives off that energy. One of them is Doc Brown. Obviously. I have got eyeliner all over myself. The Grinch is another one. Who's, Who's the, the third? third? Who was it? I can't remember. I just know the Grinch and Doc Brown. It'll come to you at 3 a.m. You'll sit fall upright and be like, ha ha, and remember. <laughs> is it Ben from Treasure Planet? No. People who know Treasure Planet. Rise. My recommendation is use your finger. <laughs> see, see. Is it Snape? No. Is it Voldemort? No. My mind, I'm, I look like I'm thinking about my mind, there's nothing there. Nothing's coming to my mind. You know what else we watched? 13 Lives. Lives? Like. Yeah, we watched 13 Lives on Amazon Prime. We're not sponsored, but it's great. I'm glad! <laughs> I can't believe it actually happened. It's nuts that it actually happened, like, and the actors in it um, learned how to dive and... Bridget. You kind of knew the story, but then when you actually see what it was like and like to dive like that in those caves is crazy. The fact that they pulled it off with none of the boys being casualties, like insane. And I didn't know that they sedated them, like fully Spoiler. under. Spoiler. Spoiler. The boys were fully under when they were getting them out and I'd never even thought about it. And then mum was like, you know what they did, right? And I was like, no. She's like, yeah, they were completely anaesthetised. But at the same time, it's like, well, how? there's no way you could do that dive having never like done anything like that before and not panic. Does anyone else hold their breath while they... I feel like I should do eyeliner. Do mascara. Oh, go! <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. How I do eyeliner is I use like a little, like the pen, the felt tip pen thing as like a guide. And then I go in with liquid eyeliner. <gasps> oh, this smells so nice. Casey's vlog will be up probably before this is up. Yes. <laughs> go to my channel, Princess Katie. You can watch my vlog, which is actually what happened in London. So a thing that, I don't know if this is a thing, me and my best friend's hive mind just came together, but I put powder on, then I do my setting spray and I dab it in with a beauty blender like I just did without explaining what I was doing. And then I put more powder on where I go shiny and my best friend does the exact same thing. And we both don't know where we got it from. I think it works. Watch me later and I'm greasy. Oh my god, one of them's perfect. Oh. <laughs> watch me ruin my eyeliner, by the way. Or watch Oops. me put a cute little pearl on my nose. Ooh. Blushing hearts. Would hold it up, but it's probably in fallout. But it's pink and it's cute, and I love it. I feel like there's so many good high street makeup things now. You go into like Super Drug, and there's aisles of good makeup. And I mean, designer makeup is so expensive. Yep. What else do I need to do? I need to do lashes! Oh my god! They look equal, do they? This is where I just sit and like do this for ages. <clears throat> this? Or do I go darker? Because. Bottom. No. <laughs> this is not the liquid. Liquid. That looks nice, no? I don't think this is the one I meant to bring with me. <laughs> oh no, maybe it is. I also hold my breath when I'm doing my putting fake lashes on. Okay, where are we at now? Mascara. I hate doing mascara. 
Yeah, what is your like least favourite part of a makeup routine? Lashes. Lashes. Like mascara, like as in the full process of lashes. I don't know why. I just like I get to this point every single time and then I'm like <sighs> That is dangerously close to my head. And I would like to not have to redo my makeup because you smacked me on the head with a with a mascara. mascara one. One. <laughs> Please don't. Do you have a mascara face? <laughs> you do. We all do. Because I've got like a big liney forehead. I <laughs> try really hard not to do the <laughs> thing. I'm getting lines on my forehead too. Welcome to the club. Welcome to your mid-twenties. I'm joining you in the lash cave. Ah! This entire video is just going to be me screaming. I still am not unsure whether I like this stuff or not. The jewel, like this little wand stick thing. I like the um, applicator, mm. but I feel like the glue is different to the other one. It glows fluorescent blue. It's because it's, it's, it's see-through, right? What is it? It's clear. It's, it's dry. I thought you clear. said queer. I was like, it's, maybe it's queer too. I don't maybe. know. Maybe. Then I ever watch just pluck all their eyelashes out because they stick at the weird angles. I mean, how is that any different to plucking an eyebrow here? Because the pain. Eyebrows hurt. Mm -hmm. I hate plucking my eyebrows. Am I nearly done? I think I am. I just need to do lips, I think, and then we're good to go. So for lips, I'm gonna Urban Decay, Shade Comfort, REM, and the shade VCR. I bought this because I felt like it was a good match for this lipstick. So let's test my theory out. I also, I get really dry lips. So I just, I don't ever, with lipstick, I dab. I think I'm done. Nice. Are you done? I'm done. Woohoo. Yay. I still have to do my hair, but that's, um, Future Katie's job. I really like this makeup. It's so pretty. Mm. It's so autumn -y. I'm just fully in autumn right now, like I'm over summer. I'm, I'm like still clinging on to summer. Yeah, you are. By your fingertips. And I'm dragging you away. <laughs> Screaming to the cabbage. No cabbage patch. <laughs> cabbage patch. <laughs> to the pumpkin patch. To the pumpkin patch. I just did my usual makeup. Enhanced by REM Beauty, which I can't believe how it is like you know that way you're a bit skeptical when a celebrity comes out with a makeup line you're like is this gonna be legit or is it just mm -hmm. gonna be cheap yeah but it's not Aryan beauty is would recommend so high quality incredible the prices are oh, the prices are really not They're, that bad i was very surprised i was expecting things to be like you know 30 quid everything be like 30 quid and above or like 50 but there's it's really it's decently not. priced mm -hmm. i would say would and especially because it is so good i hope that the products like last a while as well in terms of like when they're on your face but also like yeah that's gonna be how interesting much, how much you can get out of a product yeah and how long you can make it last would buy again would uh, buy although again. To d tonight i'll test how long this lasts mm -hmm. we hope you've enjoyed this Please uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, copy us if you like the makeup that we've done. I don't know. Go out and buy REM. Go and see Back to the Future. Go and see Hamilton at the matinee, then go and see Back to the Future at night. Mm -hmm. Even better. Most importantly, have a good day. Have a good day. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time. Bye.